All right, well, here we are. We're going to go ahead and do a pretty fun DIY. Pretty much, we got this uh, tarantula that was roaming around our property. Uh, ended up putting it in a plastic container, and the bad thing, it rained, it flooded, and poor little thing got killed. We were trying to relocate it and ended up flooding when we got the rain. So, and then this other dragonfly... Uh, it just ended up one uh, one day in our doorstep, so it's actually going to become a really nice gift. If you actually look at these, if you look at um, purchasing one of these frames, I got this from uh, Hobby Lobby. It's a 5 by 8 uh, shadow box, so I, I am going to actually go ahead and put the, these inside here. Uh, if you go on Etsy and look at it, they're about, they run about, uh, uh, 50, 60 dollars, uh, the whole assembly with a tarantula or some kind of bug inside it. Uh, this one actually just cost, uh, just the box alone, they're 18 dollars, 17.99 to be exact, but they were 50% off at, uh, Hobby Lobby, so it's really cool. One time I met some lady talking about this is something she did for, uh, income. She would actually go buy picture frames, uh, build a wood trim around them, and then just uh, uh, give it that space, put uh, different exotic kind of uh, uh, bugs that she would bring in from uh, uh, Asian countries, Malaysia, Vietnam, different places like that, and uh, exotic bugs. Uh, nothing that we have here. Um, so she would sell these and i went i was like you know i was always intrigued i've seen some ads uh uh pictures where they have this little glass container with some water solution inside and a bug and they run about ten dollars so that's even something i was looking into because we have a lot of black widows so i actually wanted to do uh i bought some of these containers i haven't done it yet but i do want to actually go ahead and start putting some of these uh bugs inside there go to a Facebook marketplace and go ahead and sell them on there. I think it's a fun little hobby money. Uh, with this dragonfly, like I said, it ended up one morning on our doorstep. So it's going to become a very beautiful uh, dragonfly with a tarantula. I am going to take the pin out. I'm going to put super glue so it just looks uh, gives a more cleaner finish. So we'll see how that's going to look. Let's go ahead and take that pin out and super glue it pretty much where it's going to be at we're going to do a little quick repair on this tarantula leg you know one of the things is uh because it was in that bucket full of water uh the bugs ended up uh eating itself so if you could see the back part of the tarantula it is gone it got eaten by uh flies went and laid their larvae eggs and then they ate the inside so they hollowed out the inside so the good thing it didn't damage it but it did uh remove the back end where it's all the internal guts are so we're gonna let that dry you know i did have one of the legs break off and these after they dry they're very brittle you got to be very careful i think a potato chip is stronger than these dried up bugs so this is a really thing really neat thing you know this is gonna go ahead and go be hang on the wall i think people as they come and visit uh, our family they're gonna enjoy it so i'm excited this gift is actually gonna be for it was intentionally just gonna be for my dad but then my mom gave me the dragonfly so it's actually gonna be a gift for both of them i hope they truly both enjoy it and they're gonna have to share this gift i just put some super glue on the tarantula's uh belly and we're just gonna go ahead and find a nice place sit her down and that is her permanent home we're gonna add some more glue to that broken leg that way it kind of combines after it hardens solid it's gonna be there i think it looks cleaner this way it has a cleaner finish uh without the pins it's gonna be a lot nicer same thing with the dragonfly the wings uh, very very brittle i think that needle actually helped me move maneuver it easier so i'm just going to go ahead and put some more super glue underneath let's get plenty of super glue and just set it down right there that is it's that's its permanent home now so that leg is i'm gonna add a little drops there just to oh so if you heard that that was a snapping of the leg i think i'm just gonna 
do a couple of drops on the legs so that way they don't move because uh, you know it's going to be hanging on the wall but there's always somebody who's going to try to touch it look at it move it around and it being super brittle uh i really don't want it to to break uh it's this is my first time doing a kind of project like this it's really neat i i enjoy it uh I'm, i can't wait to see my parents expression but uh like for any person this is a really nice opportunity where you could catch wild bugs uh get one of these uh um shadow boxes they're called uh see it just goes perfectly like that over it you'll push it from the back and then just seal it i'm gonna wait a little just kind of let it dry up before i finish it off and uh this is something if say if i wanted to sell this on etsy ebay uh facebook marketplace craigslist there's all tons of opportunities where you can sell these you just go ahead and take a picture give it a little nice description and go ahead and put it on the internet i want to say this actually could run anything from 50 bucks 60 bucks just because there's two different kinds of bugs one it gives it kind of the theory of uh the tarantula is going to eat the dragonfly. The best thing is, say, if you wanted to add some leaves, a stick, where, say, possibility that the dragonfly was sitting on a stick branch, uh, just minding its own business, tarantula sneaking up. You could do a different kind of bug, but these were the two bugs that were available. So I'm really excited. I hope they enjoy it, and I hope you enjoy this uh, video. This is pretty much dry, so I'm going to spin it around just to show you. Push it in. Then we'll just go back here, uh, put the pins back on. I'll go ahead and do it really quick, and then I'll show you the finished product. And there you go. You put all four little pins. They're all set, and there you go. Finished product. Look how gorgeous that looks. That is really neat. That is amazing. Very nice. You could use it as a paperweight on your desk, uh, mouse key pad, or go ahead and just hang it on the wall it does come with the two hooks but this is amazing and like i said the super glue gives it that finished clean product you can't see it and it holds them very firmly on there without no worries of it falling apart so that is exciting i'm excited i can't wait to see their expression to see what they see with this and like i said this was only 7.99 to get this shadow box the bugs you know i had to just run across them if you live in an area where there's tons of bugs well here's your opportunity to do your own and you could do it as a collection people love this as collection or you collect yourself or you can do this as a side hustle you could go ahead and make these and sell them so best of luck if you enjoyed this video go ahead give me a like and subscribe follow me see what other content we're doing and let's keep growing let's grow together and let's talk about ideas of how we do projects like this and how we actually do our side hustle and money thank you very much for watching i'm your host sergio pedregon